We should be treating it as aggressively as possible. We should be treating it as thoroughly as possible. Now, in many ways, cancer therapies have caught up with this idea, but in some ways they haven't. For instance, with chemo, essentially no one gives one chemo drug anymore because one chemo drug is not enough to kill off a tumor. And if you don't kill it off, it just adapts and becomes resistant. That's why we have cocktails of different chemo drugs to be able to more effectively kill off large amounts of the tumor. This makes sense, but we haven't done that with other things. We haven't done that with immunotherapies. We're just beginning to do that with targeted therapies. It, very often, one targeted therapy will be used with chemotherapy. Okay, great, but targeted therapies are more potent than chemotherapies. If you have the potential to use two targeted therapies, honestly, you should hit with as many targeted therapies as you can. It increases your odds of survival. It increases your odds of having a durable remission, a cure. You want to get rid of the cancer, not give it a chance to grow and learn and come back, which honestly is what a lot of what we do is. It, just now, we're just beginning to start to combine immunotherapies for cancer. If immunotherapies are so potent, why do we give one? Why do we give one? It's not a good idea.